But this is the Jaguar. It's a British car, I firmly believe. A British car with Italian coachwork. What a wonderful combination. Congratulations, Bill Heineke, and thank you so much for bringing the car here today. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. We're in Pebble Beach and this is a great car. I'm gonna grab the camera and I'm gonna introduce you to Dennis. Dennis, please introduce us to who we have with us today. And my lovely wife, Susan. Susan. Susan, Susan Gary. Hello. And we have- Bill Court. Bill Court. Hello. Who, uh, and Zach Daverville. And Zach. The gentleman who helped us wow. restore the car on our behalf. Excellent. And what year, make, and model do we have? 1964 Apollo 3500 GT Spider. Prototypal or prototype. And how many of those exist? Five or maybe six. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. Come on alongside me. There we go. So I've been looking forward to an Apollo. You don't see many of the coupes, let alone the Spider convertible. And this, well, <laughs> gentlemen who've restored it, well done. So let's take a look at something that you don't see every day, and that's that little badge right there. So tell us about the Apollo, Dennis. Oh gosh, where do I begin? Okay, so the Apollo uh, was the brainchild of a gentleman named Milt Brown and two of his young partners in the early 60s in California. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, were quite brilliant. Milt was an engineer. He wanted to build his own car, and he found a coach builder in Italy by the name of Frank Reisner, who ran a company called Intermechanica, and he struck a deal with Frank to complete the rolling chassis, completely bodied, interior, instrumentation, everything except the drivetrain. The drivetrain was then installed in the United States. They shipped it from Turin, Italy to Oakland, California. Tell me what this means right here. That's the name of the, uh, the bodybuilder in, in Turin, Italy. Got it. Yeah, All right. Intermechanica. And the wheels are just... Those are Barani. Those were optional wheels at the time. And uh, this car came equipped with the optional Baranis. And Pirelli wheels, which are all, those of are course, wheels well, on the car. correct. So let's take a look at the back of it. Bill and Zach, what were some of the things when you were restoring this car that you say, boy, you just, this is pretty interesting? Uh, well, besides being hand-built, um, you know, it was... It was just it was a unique challenge um, versus like production cars that we normally restore. Yeah. Uh, so we open you know, trim too. fitment, um, you know, getting things symmetrical um, within reason without over restoring the car. Wow. How long was the restoration? Uh, a little over two years. Fantastic. Just fantastic. I kept cracking the whip on them. You know. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. What. Uh, what were some of the things? Like, why this car of all the cars in the world? There's a lot of cars in the world. Uh, you know, we, we're normally affiliated more or less with Ferrari. Yeah. But we're looking for something a little different, and I always admired these cars. So yeah. I was familiar with the coupes, which are a little more common. They built 75 of those. We discovered I love that, that this car was common. going up for sale. Yeah. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's the one and only 3500 GT prototype. There's nothing else like it in the world. It's completely uh, authentic. It was essentially authentic. So uh, we just kind of jumped on it. And, yeah. Uh, here right it's car two years the right later. Time. Yep. Let's oh. take a look at the interior. May you open the door, please, so, so we can jump in there. First of all, I'll give people that look right there. You notice we have a little bit of yellow tape protecting the sills right, until uh, Pebble Beach on Sunday. Right. We're waiting until Sunday for Pebble Beach, but. You'll see those then. We haven't cleaned the car yet since the tour, so don't zoom in on a couple of pieces of dirt down there. <laughs> I think I think the audience that I share will be more than pleased with with what I'm seeing. Sure. We drove the Pebble Beach tour this morning. It was about 70 miles, and the car was absolutely impeccable. Uh, is this your turn signal? Pleasure to drive. That's this is the that horn. Is the horn. Really? Go ahead. Yes. Beat the well, we got to put the ignition. But okay. Here, I'll show you. Hang on. Great. So if you push it up, push it down, you get If you're really mad at someone, you push it down. Okay. <laughs> and then here's your turn signals. Yeah. Okay. It's got, got it. It oh, times out after about 10 seconds. Got right? it. Yep. And let's open the hood, shall we? Sure. So here's the interesting thing with the Apollo is, Bill, share with us what we have under here. Um, uh, 
good. Don't this, scratch it. Don't scratch it. This is a, at the time, it was a all new um, aluminum V8, 215 cubic inch uh, from Buick. It's got the Skylark right there. Yep. The Buick Special the, Skylark. The and Offenhauser. Go ahead. Yep. And uh, three and a half liter, all aluminum block, aluminum heads. It's got a Rochester four barrel, uh, Bork Warner 210 four speed. Same when they dropped in the Corvette. Car is very light, about 2,300 pounds. Wow. About 700 pounds lighter than a contemporary Corvette. So that 215 moves it along very nicely. Got a top end of about 140 miles an hour. Really? Wow. It's that zero is... to 60 in a little over seven seconds, which is pretty good for now. Oh, right. For that time frame, that's outstanding. Let's uh, let's fire it up, shall we? Bill, you were sharing this chrome piece in here. Tell me other pieces about the engine, the Offenhauser, etc. Yeah, so what's neat to this car, um, Offenhauser valve covers, uh, this piece of trim here is unique to this car only. Um, some subtle other touches, uh, like the front flap button, the, the handle around that, yeah. that's also unique only to this vehicle. Now, how did you know that this is unique only to this vehicle in your research? Uh, from Milt Brown. Okay. And yeah, he was pretty much our source with that. Got it. All right. Let's uh, can we give it a rev while we're while we're here? And if we just step on the brakes, first of all, let me just listen to it idle. Oh, it's got a little American sound to it, doesn't it? It does. Italian flair, though, I think. Especially with the uh, the trumpet-like uh, exhaust. Can let me give it a yeah, if you can step on the brakes for one minute, step on the brakes, and then we'll. Beautiful. Go oh, ahead. Sure the brake lights work, right? They, they work. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely delightful. Let's uh, let's take it for a ride, shall we? Hey, you betcha. Dennis and I are out in the 63-64 Apollo, and it's just a really good sounding car. Yeah, I think it's amazing. I, uh, you know, considering the other cars we've driven in our, our lifetime, this one I think is a real pleasure. It's oh, very solid car. Oh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, As we go where we want, don't we? Okay. So, yeah, it's a real joy to drive. It's got a lot of acceleration and cornering is stupendous. Suspension is great. Seats are comfortable. Very comfortable. Well, you tell me. You're sitting there. Yeah, very comfortable. Yep. Uh, no rattles in this car. Let me show you where we're going. Well, Frank Reisner took great, great pride in designing uh, and building these cars in Turin. I think it shows. Passed, passed by a Bugatti, that's a good day too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> not, too, not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad down here at Pebble Beach. Now, where are you from? What city? Uh, we're from Wisconsin, uh, near the Green Bay area. Right, okay, Midwest, both of us. Beautiful. Oh, well, yeah, you're from Illinois. You're a beer yep. fan. We don't like that. But <laughs> you guys usually, get out of my car. You guys usually beat yeah, us anyway. So. Fan. Yeah. yeah, Aaron Rodgers owns you, you know. So. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But this is this is a wonderful car. I just want to show people the gauges are all in the proper spots. Well, Jaeger gauges, all in, French um, gauges. Yep. Yeah. So uh, basically, it looks like Italian, no? That's fair. Well, yeah, but you know, Ferrari used Jaeger. Okay. And so did the Apollo. And Jaeger were made in France, believe it or not. We've actually got. Yeah, some it's a very similar 250 PF kind of dash on the car. Some of the inspiration was taken. They were sort of emulating aspects of Ferrari when they built these cars. Yeah. But, but they dropped in a more reliable drivetrain. So uh, that was the theory. They'd have an Italian high-end coach-built car coming to America, and they'd drop in a very reliable American drivetrain that you could go to maybe uh, any of a thousand dealerships and have it serviced. Right. We'll turn around so we can go back to where we were. And when we do, I just want to feature that wonderful badge in the center of your great steering wheel. How does it feel driving it? I mean, just... What, what, let me let me rephrase the question. When you're driving it, yeah. what's the reaction you receive from myself or from other people? Other people. Well, I don't want to sound uh, arrogant. No, sound arrogant. Okay, That's fine. fine. <laughs> a lot of people like the car. Yeah, yeah. I'd imagine. Yeah, they would like the car. We had a lot. Of, That's lot not of arrogant. Positive. Uh, feedback today on the tour and so on. Yeah, that's no, that's and, not uh, arrogant. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, part of that I think is because people are like, 
what is that thing? Yes. What is it? Like? Is that a Ferrari? No, it's not. Yeah. What is it? Apollo? What's an Apollo? Well, Why don't I'm, you tell them the whole story. Yeah, I've story. been waiting to find one for the channel, so this is just delightful well, for you know, sure. Well, you you don't like to talk about Jay Leno. No, you? Jay Leno's great. Yeah, well, Jay Leno just featured one. Um, a coupe. A coupe. Yeah. A coupe. But we got the Kurt, spider. We got the spider, but the coupe's very nice. It was Kurt Brock. He's a good friend of mine from Colorado. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful coupe. Fantastic car. And uh, that was a nice episode, too. Yeah, very good. You follow a little bit out into the spotlight. Yeah, no, we love Jay Leno. Great episodes. Jay Leno's a fine gentleman. He's not quite as nice as you, but he's, he's a pretty good guy. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. He's not as famous as you either. Not, well, yeah, he's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody else is. Well, well hey. <laughs> well, we don't want to brag. We got like three, three trillion viewers. Right? Yeah, something like that, yeah, yeah something. sure. So, let me just show this ride, because this is just spectacular. Okay, here we go. Go ahead. Wait for kill me when I do this with the car. <laughs> I laugh, she wants to kill you. <laughs> I mean, you've got the Matt, right You only life. live once anyway, right? There we go. Okay. okay. But we don't let her boss me around too much. What a beautiful road. Gotta be careful, you never yeah. know the deer are gonna jump well, up. Well, that's true. A couple days for a pebble, we don't want to smash in the front. No, 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 that would mess up pebble with a, I, with I a deer. I have to blame it all on, I said to lose Yeah, points. They, they don't give you any extra points for that either. Yeah, they, you're sort of infamous though, I don't know what you Pebble says, don't hang out with Lou, yeah. it's trouble. Just drive around with him all day. Trouble, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, dude, it's so much fun. I hope everybody got a good laugh out of this ride and had so much fun. I know I did. Yeah. Yeah, it's a wonderful time. Thanks so much for being on my car story. Oh, really excited pleasure. about your Apollo and seeing what kind of views yeah, we get out of it. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Very honored. Yeah. Thank you.